Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, in the last episode we reorganized- no that was an episode and a half ago that we reorganized the farm. Yesterday we just hunted for ectoplasm. Forever. So we finally got that. That's just about it. Again I don't know why I'm a few inches. Oh Christ. Don't know why I'm checking the weather. Neutral, that's fine, because we do have a holiday today. Find any tree seeds? Yeah, okay, wow. Crazy! Tree seeds? It's winter. You should know all this by now. Obviously, what's on the docket for today is going to the fishing competition that we're going to have today. Thanks to the ectoplasm you delivered to me, I... I've made a major breakthrough in the field of arcane engineering. Enclosed, you'll find blueprints for a most useful machine. This is our prize for getting the ectoplasm. It's so good. Let me go over it right now. It should be, yeah, at the very bottom. Hardwood, solar essence, and gold bar. It's pretty expensive, especially especially with all that solar essence. So you can imagine it's pretty good. We're going to actually have to make two of them. So it's a little even, even a little bit more expensive than you thought already. Also a panning spot, huh? I'll take that. What do we got? It said the luck was neutral today. I keep forgetting it's left click. Copper ore, okay, that's decent. So let's see if I have enough to make any of those obelisks, because I will. Oh boy, so we're not gonna have enough solar essence. We're gonna be missing one. That's so sad. Uh, eventually I'm going to have to like, just craft one of each of these just so I get them all out of the way. But that'll come later, right when we have a, a ton of stuff. I guess I'm going to go ahead and do my daily chores. We do have some oak resin though, good stuff. Maple syrup, nothing else. I'm still trying to get as much oak resin as I can so we can stock up kegs for all of these star fruit that we have. I'll go ahead and do my chores and I'll see you in a second. Still no duck egg, you hate to see it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with the obelisk is I'm going to put it, I didn't really think about where I was going to put it ultimately. I think like right here, right next to the house would be smart. I can't do anything with it right now because I can't use it yet because I need another. And I think I that was all redundant what I just said there. But I'll need to make another and it's basically an instant teleport to anywhere else on the farm. And I think the smartest spots to put those would either be, for winter at least, over here next to the greenhouse because we'll be using the greenhouse a bit. Also, I think we have the beets ready. Don't eat my apricot. Yeah, the beets are ready. We'll make sure to not drop them. That's nothing, nothing too special, but hey, it's something. And also, I believe that down here, Festival of Ice has begun. We have until 2 p.m., so we're good. Look at all of this. Oh boy. Now, unfortunately, Apparently, spots can be unplowed. No, don't eat the apricot. Am I full on uh, inventory space? It would appear I am. All right, I need to clear stuff out. But yeah, there's all that. I can make more seeds and plant yet more of them. And hopefully I can get all of that done before 2 p.m. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to level 10 foraging. We'll see if this will get us to level 10 foraging, maybe. But I highly doubt it. Because these do actually give you foraging experience, not farming experience so it's nice in that way so i'll make i can make 50 if i want to i'll hold off on that for a second and i'll see how much this fills before doing that um did that get us up to no level 10 foraging yet okay well again i'll try to get to level 10 foraging before our next spawn of them make some more. I'd like to fill in this whole area actually so I'll just make as many as I can because once we start like having this whole area able to be filled up that's going to be a crazy amount of food and a crazy amount of money even maybe comparable to actual crops that would be nice. I don't know how much of this I need to do but that should be it, I think. Yeah, we only have 10. And of course, don't forget to water them because that'll put us behind a day. If I don't do that, it keeps reminding me that I eventually will need to upgrade my watering can. In fact, I might do that coming up soon here. Uh, 11 a.m., okay, that's not bad. We still have uh, two hours to do whatever. 
Oh, there's a panning. I don't even dare look for that panning spot because it could be quite literally anywhere. Take a moment to clear these out, although they'll probably fill in sometime in the near future. I have enough money for a shed and, or, not and, or a stable. And I'm really not sure which one I want to go for at the current moment, because either would be good. Uh, seems like snow yams are what are preventing us from getting anything else. Okay, good to know. Clear out my inventory. I don't need it cleared out for anything specifically, but just in case you never know. Don't really need the gardening pot. I'm probably not going to need it for a while. Uh, sure, Tapper can go away as well. Actually, I'm gonna grab what sat one, two, three, four, five cranberries, just to fill in all of these. Cranberries are pretty good for those jars. All right, I think that'll do it. I'll water my cat. Well, fill my watering can first, and I'll water my cat. I do want to mention that even those those uh, crab pots look a little bit pointless. They do still give us fishing experience. So every time that I grab those. Working a little bit closer towards where we need to be. So yeah, I guess the rest of the day would be just the festival. But yeah, I think one other spot that would be nice for the obelisk would be like right here. So I could teleport literally across the farm and kind of get the maximum utility out of it. Also, even if I wanted to go into town for anything, all of the houses and all of the stores would be closed. So it's there's not too much of a reason to do that. I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Oh, ice. Beautiful material sculpting, but so impermanent. Yeah, she has a really nice one. It's a whole mermaid. Also, pear. Nice. I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. And she's in the middle of working on that one. The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? Everything looks beautiful in the winter. How's winter coming along for you, Rob? A lot of people find it, like, very depressing. Winter, I really like it until it gets, like, over a month in. This is something new for, I believe, version 1.5. She's here. You can get the rare crow if you've missed it. Again, you can get it for 4,000 from the traveling cart normally, so I'd try to get it during that. Uh, tree of the Winter Star. I could just buy a tree. Frozen dreams can be placed inside your house. A rug. A lot of really pretty things in here. The wall sconces look pretty neat. Uh, stuffing is a loved item of Sebastian, I want to say. I don't know about the others, but obviously Sebastian has easier items you can get. There's some nice things here. Uh, nothing that I want to buy personally. Hey, Rob, are you going to enter the ice fishing competition? Sure am. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. You also always wear a hoodie. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Thank you. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. You'll get that, don't worry. Hmm. Wife dragged me out into the cold for this. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. Aw. That must have been forever ago. Such a tradition. Not very creative when it comes to snowmen. Oh, we have a little fun thing over here. Hmm. What kind of snowman should we make? Classic one? Something funky? Or snowmen are boring. I think uh, something funky. Okay, that sounds like fun. That doesn't impact anything. It's just for fun. I want to give him a carrot nose. Well, too bad. You're giving him a pinecone eyes. I don't know. What do you think of my snow goon? I believe this is a reference to Calvin and Hobbes, which is a funny little pull. Snow goon. This snow is so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Absolutely true. Snowmen are okay, I guess, but I'm mostly full looking forward to the spring. Back where we started with that. We plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Oh, we've all been there. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Oh, no. Oof. You hate to see it. Demetrius and Willie, just guys being dudes. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Rob, ready for some ice fishing? I'll do my best. Um, if you say no, he'll still be like, look at it as some practice. That's the spirit. I just want to make Willie happy. Fishing's all I got. 
Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Sorry, there's no food. Yeah, not for this one. I think this is the only time that there's no food at a festival, now that I think of it. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. They hibernate. They be living. I think I haven't called talked to you yet. I saw a big fish down there. It's a leviathan. Uh, okay, I think we've talked to everyone. It seems I can, like just walk wherever and I'm assuming the wizard is somewhere out there I gotta leave y'all something to find also it's definitely not an excuse for me not to walk around the whole map because I don't know where he is the highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition we set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish just let me know when you're ready to compete I'm ready yep so since these are kind of small ice blocks your best bet is to not charge up your shots your shots Jeez, uh, your fishing rod throws. Let's begin this year's fish ice fishing competition. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. Well, is everyone ready? Begin. Yep, so just do a short cast, otherwise you'll have to like line yourself up and that can just waste time. I believe it's all about the amount that you want to pull in, not the quality, nothing special like that. I don't know if perfection gives you an extra point. Doesn't look like it, so yeah, just go for quantity above quality for the first time in your life. Also, fun fact, you can actually fish up secret notes during this if you've found the Krobus look-alike. I don't think it's Krobus. If you found the Krobus look-alike in the bush at the beginning of the season. <laughs> yeah, and of course algae doesn't count as an actual fish. You can fish up secret notes, which not only doesn't count for a point, but you also don't get the secret note after the the holiday ends. So it's a just complete waste of time and it kind of sucks a little bit. This one's a little tougher. Not crazy, obviously, but still. I also don't think that these count towards any experience, so you're probably not going to get level 10 fishing with this. Also, I like how it shows you exactly when other people get points. Hello? Can I please? Thank you. Good lord. Come on now. Also, I wonder if there's any like rhyme or reason to the fact that they chose Elliot and Pam to fish. Like, why Pam, I have to wonder. I get Elliot, he lives on the beach. And as such, he probably enjoys a little fishing himself. But why Pam? I guess just to give her a little something something. Because maybe if characters haven't gone through, like, or if players haven't gone through her everything, they might just not like her if they haven't gotten to know her yet. Turns out she's pretty nice, but she just has a little edge. So maybe they just did that because they're like, you know what? Pam needs to be a little bit more liked. I don't think I'm gonna get another fish at this point. I don't think I actually won, because I've gotten a lot of algae. That's unfortunate. What do you got for us? Wow, that's a lot of fish. The smell. Now, for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. It can't be me. It's probably not me. Rob with the five big slimy fish. Okay, no, it is me. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Oh, Lord. Oh, sailor's cap. Sweet. Neat. Yeah, this isn't anything required for any completion, but it's really neat to nice... It's really nice to get some uh, things that you'd like to have. I actually forgot what the prize was, so I didn't mention it. It's also not listed on the wiki. That's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release those poor fish. I was gonna say, you really think they survived all that time? But no, there's water in the, the buckets. So, they probably did. I can't believe I won. Well, time to head home. It's another one of those just fun ones. Uh, okay. So, thinking about one I want to craft. I can probably make a few more kegs now. One. Good stuff. So I'll lap that in. Now we have three kegs on standby. Uh, as much as I want the stable. 
Do we have enough hardwood? Yeah, we have 152 hardwood. We definitely have enough. I don't know. I think I think I'll go for the stable tomorrow and we can get the shed whenever that's finished. And then we might want to start working on our no another house upgrade, I think. I'm going to put all of the stuff we just won in here. Uh, this, our fishing stuff is actually starting to fill up a bit. I, use, I really just only have the trash in here so that we can quickly get, like, put it, stuff in there if need be. Like, I'm walking around and just throw it all in or something. Uh, sailor's cap can go... Didn't I make a chest on the inside for clothes only? I did. It's the stone chest over here. So the sailor's cap can go in there. I mean, well, I could wear it for a bit. It's not that ugly. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll live with that. I'll put away the wizard hat too, though. Yeah, I don't really think I have too much left to do today. Uh, tomorrow we'll focus a bit more on getting more farming stuff. I'll pro So I'll buy the stable, and then I think we'll take a trip to the desert so that we can get more star fruit and start filling that out a bit more might do a little bit of mining for iridium because i do we're at the point where we're going to need more iridium soon if i want to finish everything up spirits are in good humor and it wouldn't be a bad time to go apparently Eighteen thousand, huh all right all right i'm gonna quickly do our chores any duck feather yet getting a little worried about that i don't know what the exact threshold you need for duck feathers is so, we're still waiting on that. Of course, I'm not too worried about it, because I wouldn't mind if we didn't get that completed before the end of winter, because I kind of want winter to be its own thing. I was a little worried about being a little bit too overwhelmed because of all the things you would unlock by completing every all of the bundles. Because you do get a lot from it, and I didn't want winter to get over oversaturated with saturated with non-winter things and that would make sense to anyone who's gotten those non-winter things so just so you know i'm not too pressed all right i'm gonna get everything that we'll need i know we'll need hardwood i don't forget i don't remember what else we needed so i'm gonna grab the stone it could be clay i suppose Got a bit of clay, but yeah, I'll have all of that just in case it's anything I'm not expecting. These can go into the iridium rod. Put that away. Cloth. I, I got cloth. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's really nice, actually. I'll be able to use that for something. Uh, what's our gift giving looking like? That's right. We gave a lot of gifts at the bar on Sunday, so... Wizard. Oh yeah, I guess I did give him a thing. Since we're going to go to the desert, I don't know if I have anything that she would like. Uh, lucky us. One of our loved items are actually crocus. So I'm going to bring Sandy a crocus. I think it'll be a smart idea to bring her something she loves every single time we go to the desert because I'm not going to take out daily trips to the desert just to get a relationship up because I think that's a little bit overkill. I'm going to buy as many, many star fruit as we can so I can try to fill up all of this. I had cabbage still not done, but that's fine. Um, I'd like to get more iridium so we can make that other iridium sprinkler. And then fill in the rest of it with probably just quality sprinkler stuff. Because it's yeah, not as important in the long scheme of things. Okay, uh, let's get going. That's the game plan. I think we ought to be good. So why am I holding two furnaces? I must have been holding those for a hot minute. Yeah, let's get going. 9 a.m. on the dot, and it's Tuesday, so she's closed. Good stuff. What's up, Demetrius? Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe. But probably not. I'll say hi to Sebastian. I should have... Nope. He's gone, too, at 9 a.m. in the morning. Hello? She's still in bed. How dare she? Where's Sebastian, though? Not many people leave before 9 a.m. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm just headed off to the desert. I'll try not to use over 10,000 of my golds, but since we're going to wait until tomorrow for it, 
I could get down to like 9,000, I'll probably be able to make enough. Uh, oh, also, I need to do something down here. We need to start another timed quest. I forgot to do that yesterday. I think this one has still been open even though everything else is closed. Juicy bugs, I'm looking for a big wad of bug guts. The juicier, the better. At least that's what the crabs seem to think. 100 pieces will do the trick. So that's more of that. And I need 100 pieces of bone for my study. Oh, so it's all going into the mine stuff. I mean, the bug guts would be better, would be easier, I think. Because for skeletons, I mean, they drop a lot of bone each, but still, they're in one specific place of the mines. Oh, I wouldn't be able to get many bug guts from the... Okay, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do the bug guts. That'll just be simpler, easier. Won't need to worry about it as much. I did that on accident. I thought he would be far enough away. You really do hate to see it. Well, I guess I'm off to the desert. I have a ribbon. I'm realizing now that I should try to keep as many... Oh. Collect bug meat, place the bug meat in the barrel next to his house. I'm realize realizing that I should uh, probably get as many coconuts from here as possible and also save them because not only is it a loved item for... Oh, what's her name? But it's also a loved item for Linus. So, it's a few. Uh, make sure to not overspend here. I'll get one more. 20. Nice round 20, and also, for your troubles, a silver crocus. I'll absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. That'll probably be the easiest thing to give her, since it's probably going to be around winter that you start seeing her. Probably early fall, at the earliest. So, that's easy enough. Uh, I don't have a ton of stuff for eating or anything, but this is going to be... I actually didn't also bring any bombs. Uh I didn't plan for this. Uh-oh. That's fine. You know what we can do instead? We can actually just go to the mines. Just seeing what they got for us. <laughs> One diamond for a triple shot espresso. Yeah, I don't think so. Five stone for fiber. That's not a good deal. One pearl for a birch double bed. No thanks. I think I'm just going to head on back. It's still worth our while because we got all of those starfruit seeds. And also, getting Sandy up is going to be very, very good for us because I do need to max out all the relationships, including Sandy. Also, it looks like your bus has a little bit of a leak. Cool. Well, time to grind bug guts. I didn't expect to have to go to the mines for two things in a row, but we'll take it. Um, I just don't want to leave all of these in here all the time. I don't expect to get too many. A, too big of a variety. Uh, you're going to find more bugs after floor 20 because it's the forest area. Just as a note. Look at that. Uh, I got a secret note here. Just check it out what it is. Found some good things by looking in garbage cans. Sometimes you'll find dish of the day behind the saloon. For desert, check the Molnar's can for cookies. For treasure, or dessert, not desert. For treasures, check the cans by the blacksmith in the museum. Yep, uh, you can find those sometimes. Uh, I just wanted to read that so I could start picking up slimes, because I'd like as many slimes as I can for something I'll do very, very far in the future. Secret note again. What we got? If you can read this, come to Secret Woods. Please bring maple syrup. Ooh, that's actually a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I'll be sure to do that as soon as I can. All right, it's 10 o'clock, I'll call it there. I got 43 bug meat, so I should be able to do that uh, with like one more dedicated day to looking around. So I could go to the quarry real quick. I do have uh, some cherry bombs that I picked up, so I can literally just like pop a few. Just for like the stone. I'm not too worried about my HP, to be honest. And of course, clearing out more spots will actually get us more rocks respawning so you want to like clear that out pretty well as soon as you can i've been holding off because i'm a dumb stinky boy i'm gonna try and go oh boy i'm gonna try and go and at least put in all of my stuff into the greenhouse 
at least plant as much as I can of these star fruits before we pass out because that'll be nice to have those going as soon as possible. I don't think I need to explain that one, but yeah, makes sense to me. Oof, it gets dark in here. I should, uh, I should fix that somehow. Anyway, these are all going to nicely fit right in here. Don't even worry about it. Not a problem. Yeah, I'm going to have, be able to be, be sure to focus on that greenhouse as much as I can. Because as I've said, it's going to be our main way of getting money in winter. Otherwise, we're kind of out of luck for getting money until, well, spring comes around. Not that spring has anything too great. All right, I'll put everything else back. I'll, I'll keep all of these in, actually. Oh, also, I did get an ancient seed, and it's no notable that you should craft it into this because uh, I've never crafted it before. Because the first time, time we didn't craft it, we got it from the museum. So you need to do that for completion, by the way. Just as a heads up. And you know what? I have 483 stone. I'll do it. Make a staircase. And... Trimmed Lucky Purple Shorts. Amazing. Ah, that the funny thing is, this is actually what you get. If you take Mayor Lewis's shorts and uh, put them in the sewing machine with gold, you get this. This is an item you get. And I'm assuming this is just like some kind of... Can I just have no pants? Yeah, there's my underwear. You love to see it. Uh... He, yeah, I'm assuming that's kind of some bug or whatever with whatever items have like whatever in ID number. There used to be a thing where like you could put a random wallpaper into something or into like a seed maker and you'd get like rare seed or something. I don't remember what, exactly what it does. It's patched out now, so it's not too important, but still. That happens a little bit and I'm actually surprised that staircases work like that still. Very odd, if you ask me. I'll go ahead and put those away. And we're going to call it for the day. I'm amassing quite the collection of clothing. Uh, garbage hat, trimmed lucky purple shorts, bikini top, you know. Everything a young bo growing boy needs. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll go get a stable. We'll try to do a skull cavern visit, I think. We'll try to finish up our mission here yeah we'll see see you all then and good night